What's up, guys? You are hanging with us here at Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey, guys. What's up? And we have Dayo Okaniyi in the studio. What's yes, up? Yes, we do. What's going on, guys? Oh, well, my goodness. Hunger Games. We're freaking out. Can't I can't believe that. it's finally here. <laughs> I can't believe what? it's upon what? us. We've been talking about this forever. Yeah. True. So are you as excited as we are about the movie? Including I am extremely <laughs> excited. I have been losing sleep every night. I can't wait for this thing to come out. It It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I really can't wait. We have a few weeks left. The movie comes out on March 23rd. Have yes. you seen the movie yet? I've seen clips of it. I've okay. seen bits of it. Uh, I got the chance to go do some voiceover, some ADR work, so I got the chance to get some uh, sneak peeks and it looks it looks great it really does but you know I'm close to it so knock on wood you know hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's as good as I think it is well I mean come on all-star cast uh, great director what was it like working on this movie it it was an out-of-body experience I kept on feeling like somebody was gonna call me and say oh yeah about that uh, we made a mistake uh, the other guy's gonna come can we get the can we get the <laughs> real thrush please like I I was terrified like it, 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 there was the parts where I felt terrified, but Gary has a way of just making you feel comfortable on set, and and the crew was awesome, and the cast was young, and we just you know it became it became family, so it was great. You know. Now Thresh is definitely one of the tributes in the film who has mm -hmm. a really big role. Sadly, a lot of them, I mean, based on the books, die off pretty early. True. Um, but I love to hear the audition stories about how you got this Man. part. Um, okay, so originally what had happened was I just met my current managers at the time, um, David and Kanika Sumi, shout out, and. <laughs> And you know they 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 were gonna test me for a while. They were like, look, we want to test you. We really like you. Let's see how you do. We'll send you on some auditions. And the first audition they sent me on was The Hunger Games. They're okay, like, high, high five, five dude. High five. <laughs> yeah, all around. And and it was it was a crazy experience. You know they were very secretive about the whole thing. Couldn't tell anybody about it. And then I got the sides. I had my name on it. So if it leaked, it was like your fault, buddy. <laughs> and and uh, I I just tried to digest the material. Read the books overnight. You know and and just coach myself for the role. And went in to read with uh, at Diver Zane's office, and it was it was incredible. Like I read for it, and honestly, nobody really thought I was gonna get it. It was more of a, you know, we want to see how you do in the room, uh -huh. what it's what you're like in audition situations, you know, don't don't feel <laughs> like don't feel the pressure like you have to get it kind of thing. And so when I went in, I was very loose, you know, there wasn't much at stake, and so I went in and I read for the role, and I tried my best to forget about it when I left, and then it just kept coming back, you know, it was like, oh, the, this person seen your tape, and oh, the, 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 Oh, Gary Ross saw your tape. Wow, that's an accomplishment wow. kind of thing. And and so it got to the point where the studio was like, they pinned me for the role and you know they were really considering me and then they wanted me to come in for a test at Gary's house. And the morning of my test, I got a call that Gary just went ahead and cast you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm literally like goosebump inducing. I know, right I'm literally here. in my towel about to get in the shower. Looking at, <laughs> exactly. I swear, looking at the material, get a call. Yeah, David. Yeah, I'm looking at the material. What? Oh, I got the, oh, okay. Um, like. It was incredible. I didn't what know what to do. What was your reaction? Yeah. I was so numb. I just dropped the phone and I was like, do I shower? What do I do? <laughs> I, like, I had like maybe five minutes of just nothingness. And then extreme fear of, oh my God, <laughs> like I got this thing. And then I called my parents because I was freaking out and told them about it. And then their excitement made me excited about it. And it was, it was great. So tell us what it was like stepping on the set that very first day. Had oh, production man. already been going? Were you kind of joining them mid-shoot? Production had already started. They'd, they'd done a lot of the reaping scenes with Jennifer. So when we were coming in, it was the tributes. You know, we all just like landed like a bowl of spaghetti there. <laughs> and um, the first the first day I was on set for anything was just rehearsals. And it was with Gary and Jennifer. And it was, it was just all, we weren't even shooting. We were just blocking the scene and just talking about it. And I, I just, felt like this is the greatest time of my life. These people have no idea. I was looking at Gary like, you have no idea. I'm having the greatest time of my life right now. <laughs> it was it was crazy. And and then the next day we came in and in full costume and wardrobe and it was like sound rolling, you know, and action. And it just felt like, oh my gosh, this, you know, living the dream. I felt it felt awesome. What can you share with us about the wardrobe? Um, Are you wearing the same outfit day to day to day? Well, there, there were some wardrobe changes. Um, <laughs> there, uh, I think they did a really good job of staying as close to the books as possible. The thing about a lot of stuff that Suzanne describes in the books in terms of wardrobe, y y it's easier to imagine. But when you have to create these things, you know, in real life, it becomes a challenge because it's like, what, what does she mean by, you know, they, they, they're engulfed in flames or, or crazy things like that. Um, but the people that were behind the costume and the wardrobe did an amazing job. I mean, these are people who've been doing this for years, you know. 
So I, I felt when you look at their resume of stuff they've done, I mean, I walked into the, their, the costume department to just get fitted. I'm looking to the left and I'm seeing stuff from Harry Potter and stuff from this. Wow. It was incredible. Wow. Like these people have been doing it for, so I just, I was relaxed. I was like, put me in anything. It'll work. You know, it'll work. It'll be great. Yeah, exactly. They're kind of experts in what they do. True. Just kinda. True. But, but, but the <laughs> wardrobe amazing. is very, I mean, the stuff for the arena, it, it just works. They, they, they did a good job of, of making the wardrobe, you know, good to the eye, aesthetically pleasing and functional. So. It was great. Perfect for the arena. Perfect for the arena. I love it. Still want to uh, know what it looks like. I know. I know. And then <laughs> the interview outfits know. and then the tribute parade outfits. People are going to see some stuff they've never seen before. Definitely. Oh, so cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Now, Thresh, I think, is a pretty complex character. How sure. would you describe him? Um, the books don't give too much away when it comes to Thresh. They, the books tell a little bit of, of his current situation, his family. You know, he has a mom and a sister. And that's always great for an actor because you have the situation, you have the ability to come in and create a character. But at the same time, people have read these books and are so in love with it that you don't want to do too much, you don't want to add too much to the character. But he, he is, as the book you know, says, he's this big figure, he's larger than life, and he's definitely one of the favorites to win the games just by looking at him. But I, he's a different character on the inside. He has a very soft heart. He definitely. doesn't want to be there. He doesn't, you know, none of these kids want to be there. But if he's pushed into a corner, you know, he can he can kick some butt. You know I mean? know, it's funny you <laughs> mentioned the sides because I actually had to write this down. Described as six and a half feet tall, mm -hmm. muscles like an ox, yeah. and Katniss calls him a physical wonder. So True. how Ooh. exactly did you train <laughs> for this? Because Man, I, I know. mean an ox is pretty big. True. An ox <laughs> is <laughs> it's kind of on the big side. Uh I had like a month and a half before the movie started and I think I was like one one sixty five, one sixty seven and I got in there and they were like, buddy, you need to put on a lot of weight. So it was chicken breasts <laughs> and vegetables. I was just wolfing those down every day. And then I was training three hours a day, every day, hand-to-hand -hand combat, um, physical training, weight training, because wow. I had to put on muscle. And I had to learn how to, all this choreography with the fighting. So mm -hmm. yeah, I learned every, long, long blades, short blades, staff fighting bow and arrow, parkour, like, it was intense. Because not only were you training for your character, but you were actually doing training for the movie True. within your character. True. It was, it was art imitates life imitates art. Like, we were reaped, we were cast, we had to train for the movie, and the tributes had to train for the arena, and then we had to make the movie, and our characters had to fight in the arena, so it was like... Plus it's 2012, which is so fitting. True. You know, because the world, people say yeah. it's gonna end. It could, be, it could end to tomorrow. That would really suck. I want, can the movie come out first? After, after the movie. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And then the world can end. Yes, yeah, that'd please, be awesome. please. <laughs> yeah, what was it like fighting with a rock? I mean, the thrush kind of has a connection. We'll see. We'll see all that stuff. Oh, I can't, I can't, couldn't I, get it out of you? No, really sneaky though, really <laughs> sneaky though. But but we'll see, a lot a lot of the details. I mean, that's that's the fun of actually going to see these movies. True. You know, yeah. Because you're so hyped, you so want to see these things. And if you give it away, it, it takes away from from, from the film. I'm so happy what they're doing marketing wise because they're doing such a great job of building the anticipation and holding back, mm -hmm. holding back and just giving little glimpses of, of, of the greatness that I hope this movie is going to be. Now what scene from the book since you, mm -hmm. you have read the series Absolutely. would you be most excited to see on screen? Oh man, um, honestly just the relationship between Katniss and Peeta the cave scenes, the relationship between Katniss and, and Rue. The, the cool thing about this movie is it's an ensemble and every character that she comes in contact with changes her forever. And so just to see those chain of events, you know, what when she meets this character, what's that one thing that they add to her personality? When she meets somebody else, what's that one thing? You know, so I'm so excited to see, you know, the dynamic of how she moves around in this world. And it's told from her point of view. So as the audience, we are Katniss, you know and we get to experience the world as her. So we get to meet all these characters that she gets to meet, but I'm so excited to see um, her interactions with Rue and her interactions with, with Peter. Those are really cool relationships, you know. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer Lawrence is so talented. Absolutely. I mean, what was it like working with her? I know that mm -hmm. you described her as like the perfect mix of Goofy and Oscar <laughs> award right. winner. Mm -hmm. um, what was your experience like with her? She She's awesome. I mean, she you would never be able to tell for a day that she was carrying this colossal thing on her shoulders. I mean, she came to set, she was very bright. You know, she kept it very light. She told jokes yeah. all the time. But when it came to the work, she doesn't miss. It, you know, everybody goes, does the thing where they, they start a scene and they're like, oh, sorry, I messed that up, kind of. 
she doesn't miss. She just goes, she joined <laughs> in on the action. And Peter, you know, like she's yeah. she's incredible like that, and it, it's it's a gift to be with actors mm -hmm. like that because you become a better actor when you work with people like that. Mm -hmm. They bring out the best thing, you know. So I I love working with her. It was a pleasure. What about I Josh? stole a lot from her. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I, that's the cool thing about working with these amazing actors like you know Woody Harrelson or Donald Sutherland. You know, I mean, like, hello. I would just go on set and be like, oh, that thing he did. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do <laughs> Take that. Take note of that. Right? You know, it's, it was it was awesome. There were always gems around to steal. Absolutely. And Josh Hutcherson, you have probably had a lot of scenes yeah. with him as well mm -hmm. um, within the arena mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. um, what's he like to work with? Josh is PETA. When you're walk when you're working with Josh, you're working with PETA. Like offset, he's PETA. He he's the perfect casting for that role. And you know, offset we'd play basketball and, and then you'd come to set and he'd do his he's so natural as an actor. And he's so good at bringing himself to the role, mm -hmm. which is very hard to do, to be so natural and so comfortable in the shoes of the character you're playing. And he does that so well. He is he is Peter. He's so perfect for the role, it's incredible. Yeah. And so he was awesome. In what ways do you think you're like Thresh? I, I think, you know, I, I think I'm a soft individual inside. I think I have I have qualities like that. Maybe on the outside I might look like an ox. <laughs> And, uh, like I might have, you know, I might be built six foot, you know, one million. But a physical wonder. A physical wonder. A physical yeah, wonder. I, I might be a physical wonder, but you know, on the inside, I I relate to him. You know, I'm not I'm not a conflict person at all. I'm, I don't look for, I'm not out for blood. You know, I'm I, I don't have fighter. that. Yeah, I'm not a fighter like that. But, you know, if I'm pushed in the corner, you know, what I mean, I'll better watch out. You know, you might catch it. <laughs> but, How has your life changed since being cast in this role? Um, the movie's coming out soon. Right. Do you even know how your life is about to change, sir? I chose to be an actor. So, you know, it comes with the territory. If I if I wake up tomorrow and I've lost my anonymity, that, that's my fault because I chose <laughs> to be in this business. But, you know, I, I really just want to do the best work I can do. I want to look back at my career 10 years from now and have an amazing body of work. That's why any real actor gets into this business. That's why we want to do what we want to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm ready for it. I hope I'm ready for it, whatever that, craziness might be. Yeah. Good luck, my friend. Yes. I know that you were telling it. us off the off uh, before we started shooting about Barnes and Noble or some sort of border oh, you know, yeah. bookstore experience. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. I just went in like a regular old Joe trying to get, you know, the Hunger Games companion guide. And the lady he buys them too. I buy them too. I'm a, I'm a fan. That's what people forget. Like I'm a fan. When these things come out, I go and get them just like you guys. And I went into the store just trying to ask for my Hunger Games guide and the lady freaked. She freaked out. She was like, oh my God, it's fresh. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, just buy the album, gonna go. So it was, it was crazy, it was a crazy experience. That was like one of my first really explosive experiences, but you know. And the movie hasn't even come out yet. And the movie hasn't even I hope come out you have out your yet. tickets for opening night because apparently they're already sold out. They're yeah. going, and I do. Okay, good. I do. I'm I will be seeing it. I know, right? I know. <laughs> I do. I got some connection. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> One more thing I'm just curious about, because you obviously have a very insider perspective. Um, the movie has been kept under such wraps, and it's been so secretive, and I think we do all really appreciate it, even though we want the info. Um, what have you noticed on your end? Like, were you not able to, like, go to other parts of the set? Did you only get part of the screenplay? Like. What secrecy did you notice right. on no, the inside? Not at all. They really made everybody on that set feel like they were a crucial part of the filmmaking nice. process. They, the set was completely open. We, I, we walked throughout the set. We went there. We got a tour of, you know, the arena and the training center and you know the the, the, the carts. And we could come on set whenever we wanted, even days when we weren't filming, which was amazing. You know, because I could just go and watch these scenes that I love so much from the books you know, happened before my own eyes. So that was incredible. Like, we are fans. People don't, like, we are fans like anybody else. Like, I'll call up Jackie, or who plays Foxface, or I'll yeah. call up Amandlo or Alexander, and I'm like, oh my gosh, did you see the action figures? Like, we are, <laughs> we are fans just like anybody. People think we're up here going, oh yes, that's that's for us. No, it's not like that at all. We're, we are just as excited as everybody else to see this thing come March 23rd. Awesome. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, the countdown is on. It's, it's been, been on. on but yeah. we're finally in the last stages. Thank sure. you so much, Dio, for Thank stopping by. Thank you so by. much for having me. This oh, is great. So excited. Team fresh all the way. March people. 23rd, you guys. Make sure you check out The Hunger Games. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye, guys.